I played Sally Rogers, who was one of the writers of the show, uh, one of the writers of the Alan Brady show, which is who we wrote for. Dick was head writer, and Maury was another writer, and I was the other writer. I was not a secretary. I was not, I was a writer. I had, in fact, I was the first women's lib part that was ever on television. I made the same money the boys made. We were all equal, and I was a writer. I was not a secretary. I think Carl tried to pattern me after Selma Diamond, who was a writer on the Sid Caesar show. But uh, my own personality came out, and I think he just wrote for that. I just played me, really. Yeah, that's a, that's a secret I won't tell you about. I, I started wearing the hair bow on that show, and I've worn it ever since. And as Vincent Price once said, it's nailed into her head. Just when I go out or if I'm working, I don't wear it around the house. If that's what you say, I'm not that nutty. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't dissect anything like you people do. I go in. That's my part. Okay, I'll do it, and that's it. I don't take it apart and say she's this because she's that. She's that because she's this. Her father died of the thing, and her mother died over here, and that this one over there. And I, I don't do that. What's the part? I'll read the lines. Let's go. I don't do that. I don't dissect a part. I just do it. And I guess I do, I'm like Gregory Peck. Everything I do is the same. <laughs> Dear old Gregory. <laughs> Sally Rogers' love life was very sad. She went with Herman Glimsher, whose mother was a pain in the neck. And that was her boyfriend. She was always looking for a guy to get married. That part of it was Selma. Selma was always looking for a guy. And uh, uh, Sally was... Uh, just looking for a man, you know, and uh, not desperately, but funnily enough, as they say. Uh, and Herman Glim should fill that bill whenever she needed somebody to go out with. I've had people stop me on this, uh, where I went someplace, and I was waiting on line for something, and this woman was behind me, and she said, because of you, I became a writer. I said, I beg your pardon? She says, I figured if you could do it as a writer, she says, I could do it too. And I said, well, that's wonderful. I hope you succeed. I had a lot of things happen like that in so many ways. I was out to dinner with my husband and my daughter, and she's going, Mommy, this, Daddy, this, and I'm going this and this. And the waitress looks at me, and she says, I'm just like you. I have a cat. I live alone. And I'm looking for a fella. And, and I'm, I'm talking to my husband. I'm talking to my daughter. And she's going, I'm just like you. I have a cat. I do this. And I, and I said, oh, fine. Hmm. Don't go with the guys with the white coats, you know. And she she really thought I was that character, which is, I guess, a compliment, you know. And I've had people say, because of me, they've become writers. They figured I was the first lib women's lib, you know, that equal pay, equal this, equal that, you know. So, okay, fine. <laughs>